We are going to go over the brows because I feel like it or should I not? Should I leave them? What should I do? I don't know. What up, what's going on? It's your girl, Mina. Today, we are going to be testing out a new foundation. As you can see, we are in my living room. I'm enjoying this more lifestyle vibe. If you are, I want you to comment and let me know. I don't have any lights in front of me. It is literally just the big window. I also am enjoying that vibe. If you do too, comment and let me know. If you're in the US, I want you to text me. Join my text community, it's free. Also, make sure you comment below on anything that you like or love, have questions about during the video. I wanna hear it, I wanna see it also follow on Instagram all right and let's just jump in so we have the Charlotte's beautiful skin foundation I was sent these three and I realized that there are a few missing from the lineup that I was not sent so I hope that one of these will match me if not we'll have to abort mission and do this another time but I have watched other videos of this and it seemed that people enjoyed it let's see if we feel the same way if you're wondering I do have a slight cold and that's why my voice sounds a little different than normal okay let's pull up the information on Sephora's website. The foundation retails for $44. It's, it claims to be long wearing, natural finish, medium coverage, has hyaluronic acid in it, best for combo, normal, or dry skin, so anyone can wear it. 16 hour natural glow foundation with buildable medium coverage to hydrate, smooth, blur pores, and brighten skin. All right, so this is medium. There are a lot of medium natural foundations out. Like, did you watch my NARS one? Make sure you do after this one if you haven't already. The NARS Advanced Skincare Foundation, watch that. I do like that a lot. So it's got some claims here about skin being visibly plump and smooth and hydrated and whatever after four weeks. This is obviously just a, te a test of me putting it on right now. So as you can see here, when it comes to the darker shades, there is a 15 neutral which is what I have right here. This is gonna be too light, I already know. Then we have 16 Cool, which is what I was sent. So I do have 16 Cool. I don't know, but we'll see. And then we've got 17 Cool, which is what I was sent also. Deepest with Cool Rose Undertones. Ooh, we gonna have to finagle this one? Uh -huh. I'm not sure about that. Okay, so there's one that I was not sent. It's 17 Neutral. I feel like I would match with 17 team well, 17 neutral on the model is pretty dark, but you know, I do make dark foundations work. It doesn't matter. Here we are. Okay, so I am just missing 17 neutral, which is the darkest shade. Let's see what this is all about. In case you just wanna see what the colors look like on my skin, I'm gonna swatch all three of them just to, you know, because we're here. 15 neutral, okay, is this one? Got a pump, that's nice. Pumping to the back of my hand. Okay, so I might need to stand corrected because this is matching my hand. So let's see. Yo, the bottle be looking kind of crazy sometimes, okay? We are gonna walk through this together. 15 neutral might be for the kid. Oh my God. I can more than likely make this work. I'm so annoyed. It was looking really shady in the bottle. I could make this work. Now this would be a winter color. There's no way on God's green earth that I could make this work in the summertime. This reminds me of the D3 shade with the NARS foundation that matches my skin perfectly. Doesn't match my outer part of my face, which is fine. It matches the middle of my face exactly. I would have to be careful with what concealer and what contour and what powder I use. So this matches and it looks really good. I stand corrected, I'm annoyed. Okay, here is 16 Cool. Now, I, if this one matches me, which Charlotte Tilbury, thank you for setting the correct shades. I was getting a little ahead of myself. If this one matches me, then that tells me that this 16 Cool is going to be good for the summer time. Ooh, hold on. Let's just put 16 cool. Let's put it here. I could make 16 cool work too. Similar to the NARS foundation, see? I love being able to identify more than one color in a foundation that I can make work. I could totally make this one work. Look at that. So I could do either this one to match my exact face or this one is a little, little bit darker. It's not too much darker. And I love that they sent me cool. So thank you. Now here's 17 cool. I might hang on to seven. Listen, I could hang on to 17, put it in my travel suitcase for when I go somewhere that's what I'm gonna do. I'm pumping 17 onto my hand. Yeah, 17 is pretty dark and I'm gonna put this around my 
jawline. I can do 17 when I'm on vacation and I get really dark. Like, look at that. Nice and hydrating. Okay, so I was going to put some stuff away for a giveaway, but mm -mm, I can't give it to you. I'm sorry. I'm going to keep all of these. Thank you very much because I know that I can use all of them. Okay, and just because I want to, I don't want to confuse you all and make everyone feel like they need to get a foundation that's too dark for them. That's just what I like to do. If I had purchased this myself and I had just gotten a shade that was dark for me, I would just stick with it. But because I have the option to use my exact shade, I'm going to do that today. All right, so I wiped off everything else. This is the shade 15 neutral. All righty, and I already have a little bit here. Let's just go here. I'm not priming. I just wanna see how this does on my skin without a primer because, so a few things. Natural finish to me means put it on and go. That's what number one. Number two, since this matches the middle of my face so well, it's gonna look cuckoo on the outer parts of my face. But the nice thing is that this is a medium coverage foundation, so it's not gonna look too wild and crazy when I blend everything out. Getting toward my hairline, not adding any more product, taking leftover and going along my jawline. This is not gonna match me well on the perimeter of my face. So the last thing I wanna do is add more product and then look crazy down on my chin. It's just gonna fade into my skin at the bottom here. So I always like to apply the foundation in the middle of my face and then blend it outward. Like on my forehead, that's a good enough application. I don't even need to add more, but I'm going to because it's a medium covered foundation. I want a little bit more coverage, but like I didn't even put much here. It's just left over and it still looks fine. Oh, uh, this is looking really good. Hydrated and everything. It is feeling like there's a little bit of a tug when I wipe it on, which I have no problem with. Comment, let me know what you think because this is looking really, really good. I'm not gonna go over the eyelid because I do wanna put on eyeshadow and I don't want this hydrating foundation on my lid, okay? Come on with all the natural hydrating finish foundations. I'm just trying to cover a little bit of the blemishes on my forehead. I mean, they're not that noticeable. I know you're probably like, what blemishes? Just a smidge. I can see a little bit. And I have le a lot left over on my hand. I didn't need to take too much. Wow. Oh, this is really good. Ooh, I wonder which one I like more, this or the NARS. I just like both of them. This is my first ever Charlotte Tilbury foundation. If you've ever tried any other Charlotte Tilbury foundations, does she have any others? Uh -huh. I'm sure she does. I want you to comment, let me know which ones are your faves or were there some that didn't work for you? Let me know, okay? Should I do a makeup look where I leave my brows? I know you saw me leave them with the lip bar skin tint, but should I do it again? I normally don't. Let me give it a shot this one time. <laughs> so do I wipe off the product that's on my brow? <laughs> Is that what I'm supposed to do? What do you do? Do you have microblading? Let me know, I'm so annoyed. Okay, we are going to stick with, I am not wanting to because I usually do my own brow, but we're gonna do something a little bit different today, okay? I'm not even lying. If I was one of those people that put on foundation just to even up my skin and go about my day, this, would be one that I would do it with. It feels comfortable, it feels hydrating. I feel good. I feel like I just woke up. This is definitely the kind of foundation I can see you using. For those of you who do the traffic light makeup, you know what I'm saying, five minute makeup, you feel what I'm saying, at your office makeup, you feel what I'm saying, in the building bathroom makeup, you know what I'm saying, walking up to your office door makeup. I could see this foundation being in that routine because medium coverage is so great because it's giving you medium coverage, but it's not too full. It's not gonna give you a whole new face. You look like yourself. I'll let you watch me finish my face. I'll show you what I'm using because I know you wanna know. And we will come back and do a wear test and talk about it then.
Oh my God, doing my lip just made me realize that I skipped highlighter and blush. Oh my goodness. What in the world? I'm telling you, do my brows differently mess me up because the brows, first of all, are not even even. I was moving my hand in a way that I'm familiar with, which is to make my arch go high. And then I had to go back down. So this brow looks different. I'm sitting here like, why isn't my Cupid's bow highlighted? I forgot to highlight. But the skin is looking nice and dewy though. Like not dewy, but you see this is a, this is a subtle natural shine. You see that natural shine there? Very gorge. I'm gonna put on blush and a highlight in just a second. I cannot believe I forgot that. This is Lime Crime Blood Moon. Okay, and then in the middle, I'm gonna use Maybelline Inspire. So while that dries, oh my goodness. Rare Beauty Illuminating. What's it called? Illuminizer? Mm-hmm, all that. I knew my face looked different. My nose wasn't shining the way it normally does. What? Whenever I do something different, it messes up the whole thing. I can't see the highlight. You can see it. <laughs> I can't see it. Okay, so blush and highlight is done. And now the gloss. I'm using Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss. And this is the color Daisy Pink. Let me fix the Cupid's bowl because the highlighter, see I don't do highlighter after my lip. That's the craziness right there. Let's fix it with a purple pencil. Okay, so here we have the finished look. I think it looks gorgeous. The eyeshadow palette was cute. It's not a palette that I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna give it away, only because it doesn't have the transition color that I like. I made it work, but it's just not my favorite. And I don't need to be hanging around with palettes that I just don't love, okay? But this is a really pretty palette, especially for lid colors, especially in the center. Great lid colors to make your eye pop, honestly. This eye is popping though. Comment and let me know what you think about it. And I did a wing today. I wasn't sure how it was gonna come out, so you didn't see me do the whole thing. I have not done a wing line in a very long time. I was a little bit concerned. I can't about that okay but it did come out i love the way the whole look looks so i'm gonna wear this it is now 11 o'clock but i started around 9 30 <laughs> so we're gonna stick with the 9 30 time and then we're going through the whole wear test so i'm gonna check in with you and let you know how the face is holding up but i feel like it's gonna hold up well i mean it's foundation for god's sake unless it oxidizes i think it's gonna hold up well but i'll check in with you in a little bit all right, it's one o'clock right now and I have not touched up my face. I think my skin looks so healthy, so good. I've been inside all day. It's not hot outside. It's not any of that. I think my skin looks really, really good. You let me know what you think right now at this point. And I will check in with you a little bit later. I have a meeting to jump on right now. So I'll check in with you again. All right, it is now 316, <laughs> to be exact. And I've got some healthy oils around my nose. Nothing that troubles me. My skin still looks really good. I'm loving how it looks so far. Wear test is going very, very well. I'll check back in with you later on. Alrighty, we are closing out this video. It is six o'clock, okay? So that was seven and a half hours, whatever. And my face looks good. I did end up touching it up. I forgot I was in a wear test. So I was in the car, I had to blow my nose and then I touched it up, but it does look really good. I love this. This color is perfect for me. If you haven't already, it's worth a shot. It is definitely worth a shot. So comment below, let me know what you think about the look, about the foundation, and also watch two more videos that I'll leave for you right here at the end. Don't go too far, follow on Instagram, subscribe here and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.